So let's begin to look at the crochet mosaic stitch blanket here and this is using Red Heart Super Saver. You're gonna be using a five and a half millimeter size eye crochet hook today. You're going to notice that we have stripes of yarn before we get to this mosaic particular concept. So that's something that we have to think about before we even get to the part of the mosaic. So you're gonna have all the instructions that you see here and this is a really neat idea. So what's gonna happen is that you're going to chain 152 for that and it's in multiples of 12 plus 8 and we're going to then be con uh, continuing the stripe pattern. So we need to uh, get the stripe pattern which is the darker gray here. So we need to do that first as you see here before proceeding to the mosaic part of the pattern. So the mosaic is where we're gonna be concentrating our work today. But Remember in this particular one chain three counts as a double crochet, chain two at the beginning does not. So just keep that in mind and remember the stitch multiple is 12 plus 8. Let's begin that next. So let's begin and we are going to chain 152 or you can do the multiples of 12 plus 8. So I'm gonna do a multiple. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Is it big enough? Yes or no? If not, continue. So I'll do another one. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Once you're happy with the width of it, just add eight more. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. And then we're ready to begin and we're gonna start with then the foundation row of this blanket. So going with the foundation row we are going to go second chain from the hook and we want to single crochet ourselves across your chain all the way back. So please do your foundation row now single crocheting on the back hump of the chain all the way across. So now that we've done all the foundation row across we're going to proceed in stripe as follows. Notice the two asterisks. The two asterisks will be referred to in the future. So we're going to do your C's uh, color and your B color in order to keep bouncing between. So just follow your set of instructions to be able to do that. So rows three and four is the same as one and two. So this is the instruction for one and two. And then it says repeat the first to six rows once more. So then you're going to continue along to do that. Once you have that done you're going to go to the next row, the next row and then the next two rows and then we're gonna proceed. Once we get the mosaic uh, section done then what we have to do is that we have to then begin to do uh, the concept to coming back to the stripe. So once the mosaic is done it says repeat these eight rows for the mosaic pattern three more times. So you will have this set of instruction done a total of four times in your particular blanket before moving on. You're then going to proceed as follows. So once you get it done uh, three more times after the first time it's done, so that's a total of four times, that you're going to proceed with this row all the way to the fourth and then you're going to begin to proceed to the stripe pattern as follows. So you have your striping pattern again and you will notice then it says repeat from the asterisk to the asterisk twice more. So then you have your asterisk so that was all the way back over here and you're then going to continue all the way in order to see that where the asterisk is again in the future. So if you don't know where the second asterisk it's right here. So it says repeat from the double asterisk to the double asterisk. So from right here to right here. So you're repeating all of it with uh, twice more and then fasten off. And then that's something that you can concentrate on and you can see that pretty much the edge, edge instructions are just left. So it's just one single crochet accre uh, across the, um, the side edge evenly and that's just something that you have to just do in order to get it to go. And the reason why you're doing that is that you're gonna be covering up over top of the strands that are dragging along the side. So let's begin your striping pattern just like you see. So just refer to your set of instructions to get that sequence that's available to you and then we're gonna continue there. So let's just uh, start our striping just to make sure you get it and then we'll carry on to the mosaic. So the first row of the striping pattern is to, it says with C. So whatever color you decided to with C. So I'm just gonna say this blue one was and it's going to be chain three which will count as a double crochet. So starting in the very next stitch you need to double crochet yourself all the way across. So just one double crochet in each going all the way across and this is row number one. Okay all the way across. Now row number two just chain up one and just do one single crochet in each of the double crochets going across. This is row number two continuing with the same color. All the way across in number two. So rows number three and four are the same as one and two. So chain up three and you'll just do a double crochet across and then row number four 
is going to be just chain up one and one single crochet across and you'll use the same color. So do now rows three and four exactly like one and two now. So I'm now at the end of row number four. Five and six are a different color but do not trim this yarn off and so I'm on the last stitch but I haven't finished it. And I wanna take a slip knot of another color and I wanna put it through and pull it through to finish that stitch. And what I'm going to do is that we need to do with the new color we need to do rows number one and two once again. And we're gonna be accessing this other color so just leave it holding. Now the straggler for this color because we've just added it I would put it up underneath the stitches and hide it in as we go. So we're going to do then rows number one and two once again. So this is technically five and six. So chain up three using the new color and lay this down on top of the line and just double crochet yourself across. And then when you get to the other side you're gonna do row number six which is the single crochet coming back. So just chain one and do one single crochet in each. And then we have to then repeat rows number one through six one more time and so I will meet you at that moment where we'll pick up this color once again and we'll be dragging this secondary color up along the side. So please do now our rows five and six and I'll be, be, be right back in just a moment. So I've now just done five and six which is the same, same as one and two. So on the last stitch you don't wanna finish it. You just wanna leave this off to the side and grab the other yarn that we left behind. Just kinda pull it snug. Don't pull it too tight and you're going to pull that yarn through so that it's carrying up on the side and when we do the border you're gonna cover that over. So turning your work we're going to need this again so just leave it off to the side out of your way and you're going to do now um, the same rows one through six one time once more sorry. So you're gonna do the first four rows will be this color and then the last two rows will be this color and again you're bounce between this double crochet and the single crochet so it's double, single, double, single. So do four rows of this color like you had before and then two rows of the other color and then you're good to go. So please now repeat rows number one through six one more time and then we're gonna carry on into the next row after that. So I'll do that off camera and we're gonna begin our journey to continue to the mosaic in just a few moments from now. I've done rows one through six one more time. So this is where we are. This color here I'm going to release it. So we're going to just trim this yarn and I'm going to fasten it in later. But you notice that it's not done because what I want to do is pick up this color. So for the next two rows as we get ourselves established to the mosaic we have to do two more rows of the striping before we then begin the mosaic concept. So just picking up this uh, yarn here and you can just let this other yarn just hang off to the side. Just uh, deal with it later and now you're going to do two uh, rows. So let's do our first row first is that you're going to chain two. Remember it does not count as a half double crochet. So it, just starting in the very same one that it's coming out of I want you to half double crochet yourself all the way across. Okay so please do that all the way across and I'll be right back in just a moment. So this is the first time of the next row. So we're just coming to the very end and then you're gonna turn your work. So this is the second row of the next row. Okay so it has the next row, next row and then next two rows. This is the second one. So we're going to then just chain up one and we're gonna single crochet into the first half double crochet. And now we're gonna half double crochet, or sorry we're gonna do a half double crochet front post in uh, each of the stitches except for the very last one we're going to put in a single. So just wrap in the hook and come into the next post and this is gonna create a ridge and you're gonna half double crochet front post. So then go around the post on the front side and this is a front post half double crochet. So you're gonna uh, use this color all the way to the end. The very last stitch will be a single crochet as I mentioned and then we're gonna be uh, getting rid of this color and then starting with our mosaic technique which we'll go back to the diagram in just a few moments from this time. So let's uh, begin and decide what your colors are going to be as you're doing this row next. So you're coming all the way across. Remember that this chain two never counted as a stitch. So your last one here. So I've gone around this post. Your last one is a single crochet. This color is now technically done. So what I want to do is just fasten off. So let's just review the fastening off technique. And so I'm just going to pull this through. And I'm gonna do this with all the loose ends that we have. So anytime you have a loose end that you'll wanna do this with. The nice thing about carrying up the yarn is that it will get buried underneath the idea uh, like the border as you go but when the color completely ends you're gonna wanna fasten off 
just glide it under underneath some of the stitch work. Don't change the shape of it. So just when you pull it just make sure that it still has that same flexibility and go back and forth underneath the stitch work a total of three times. So this is gonna be the third time. And so I got rid of that other color if you recall. And so I'm going to wanna go back and do that. When you weave it in make sure you stay within the same color slot. So this one here I'm going to, to stay on this side and just weave it back and forth and then we're gonna carry on. We're gonna do the next two rows which is the setup row for starting the mosaic and we're gonna be covering that next. So now that all the ends are woven in you can see the yarn that's carrying up. Again that will get carried underneath. So we're now going to start with the mosaic concepts. I'm going to be changing out my colors. I really wanted the colors to really pop. So I'm gonna be using a gold as one color and then uh, more of a blue, another a shade of blue instead. So we're going to continue then and let's go to the diagram because let's explain that and we're gonna get ourselves set up. So in the diagram see this grayed out area? These are the next two rows that we wanna do. So we're gonna start ourselves with the color. So we're gonna carry on across and then back and then the repeat then starts technically on row number one all the way through eight in order to get through the concept. So we still need to do these two rows and so you'll have to choose one, uh, one or the other color in order to make that happen. So decide what color that you would like this to be and this will be the first drop down color that you see within the pattern. Let's begin then the next row which is number one of the setup. Before I go to the idea, sorry I feel like I'm all over the place today. So what I would do if you weren't watching me is that I would mark the number of single crochets that it takes to get to the spot. So there's eight. Then you chain two, skip two stitches and then there's ten in a row and then in order to continue the repeat it will be um, you put this two and then ten and then these two and then ten and etc. and then the very final eight will be the single crochet. Let's do this row. So let's begin. We're going to then just attach it to the first one and then chain one and do one single crochet and remember what I just showed you. There's eight in a row that starts it off and so I would hide this underneath the stitch. So this is one and this is two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight and then you're going to then chain two skip two and then do the next ten in or sorry next ten in a row. Yep. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten and then you're going to then chain two, skip two and then you'll do the next 10 and then do the same thing. So you'll do that over and over and over but when you come close to the other side of the edge that you see you'll chain two, skip two and the last eight in a row will be your single crochet. So you just gotta continue to repeat the pattern over and over and I would count it the first time out just to make sure you, you get there. So there's four, five, six, seven, and eight and so therefore you're good to go. So let's turn our work and do the next row which is gonna repeat back going back. So just chain up one and just apply one single crochet in each single crochet and when you get to the chain two spaces just chain two and jump right over those. So I'm not counting the stitches. I don't need to in this particular row. So I know what the stitch counts are based on the last row I just did. So I just say match stitch to stitch chain to chain when I do this concept. So there's the chain two so just skip over the chain two. So chain two there and then just continue to single crochet and then chain two as you skip over chain two spaces and do that all the way across. And then we're gonna begin the fun stuff with starting the official repeat of a mosaic. So I'm coming up all the way across and on my last stitch that I have here is that when I pull through I don't wanna finish that stitch. I wanna just grab a slip knotted one of the next color I wanna use and I'm going to let that gold just rest to the side and I'm gonna finish this stitch with the new color that you have. And so we're officially then going to turn your work and move into row number one of the repeat of this pattern. So as we carry along we're going to then just start up here. So you'll notice that there's six in a row so I will mark it six and I'm going to then chain two, skip these two single crochets and then we're going to do a mosaic double crochet into this stitch right down here. Okay it's easy to find. After you get that done you're gonna chain two, skip these two out 
and then you do one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's six there. And then you'll do that again. So then you'll chain two, skip these two, do a mosaic double crochet down here. Chain two, skip those two and continue that. So then you'll do six in a row and then the same and then six in a row and then the same. Eventually you come to the other side and then you'll do the final six. Now when you go back on row number two, which we'll cover right now, is that you just match stitch to stitch, chain for chain. So if there's a stitch, just put in a stitch, the single crochet. If there's a chain, just chain over and skip it. Single crochet into these two stitches, chain two to skip over the chain two and etc. So I just say match stitch to stitch, stitch to stitch, chain to chain and let's begin rows one and two. Okay, let's begin rows number one and two. So just chain up one because I've already established it. Now I got it connected and then you're going to single crochet in the first six. So one, two, three, four, five and six. So I would lay this down in front of me on top of my lap. Now your six are in, you're going to chain two and you are going to skip two and if you notice that this chain two space is, is right after that chain two so I know that I'm right. So now that I've chained two I'm going to do a mosaic double crochet into this stitch here. Okay, it's right below those chain twos. So stay on the front side of the work so that this color buries in over the top. Then chain two, skip the next two and single crochet the next six. So one, two, three, four, five and six and then repeat that all over again. So chain two, skip the next two and here's the chain two spaces. So just mosaic double crochet. I think it's just a new fancy term to be honest with you but it's just a double crochet in the stitches below. Chain two after you've done that and then you would do the next six and then the same configuration and then the next six but eventually the party will run out and you'll come to the end. So skip in the next two after this is done. So peel things back if you don't see it. So then do the final six of the row and then was technically row number one. Like that. Then turn your work and do number two. So just chain up one. So just put in a stitch where there's a stitch. If there's a chain two just do a chain two and jump on over it. So match this stitch, stitch <laughs> chain the chain and I can't say that today and that's the journey. So go across row number two. I'll meet you back here in row number three and we'll review the diagram once again. Don't forget those um, stitches that are those mosaic double crochets that are there. I'll see you at the end of this row. Upon getting back just uh, do that last one but don't finish it. Let it fall to the side and then grab that other color. Just kind of pull it a little more tighter and then just pull through and then the gold will then be ready and you'll put the other color aside. Turn your work and you can see the dropping down has happened. Let's begin a row number three. Let's go to the diagram next. So let's review this number three. There's four single crochets in a row. Chain two to jump over these two and then come down and do a mosaic double crochet into these here. So you'll notice the chain two spaces are there. Then you're going to single crochet the next two single crochets and then jump down again and do those two and then chain two to finish. So if you look at this particular concept right here, this is the repeat. In between there's gonna be a total of two. So you kinda notice and actually when you think about it is that there's two single crochets here, there's two here. So two is going to be your magic number for these um, single crochets going across. But eventually the party will run out. The last four are single crochets and when you do then the four uh, going back over match stitch to stitch, uh, chain to chain and you will get yourself all the way back on row number four. Let's start row number three now. Let's begin row number three. You're just gonna chain up one with your new color. It's just and the color is just carrying up on the side. So this is one, two, three, and four. I like the diagrams right in front of me which is not in front of me at the moment. There we go. And now you're going to then chain two and then jumping over these two single crochets come immediately here and do your mosaic double crochet. Do those two in a row. Okay. Then see these single crochets? You're gonna wanna match those. 
and then jumping on down again. So these chain two spaces tell you that you need to do that. And then after that you're going to chain two to create a new space for the future. Skip the next two and single crochet the next two after that. Just refer to the diagram. So we're gonna repeat that same instruction again. So chain two, skip the next two and then just come on down and do a mosaic double crochet. Okay and then single crochet the next two and then jump on down again. So you're noticing I'm kind of just peeling the stitches out from the back if you don't see it. And then chain two, skip two and then you will just do your two in a row, chain two and then keep on that same formula going across. Eventually the party will come to the end so you'll just chain or skip your two here, you'll chain your two and then just do your final four. And then your return pass on number four is just turn your work and match stitch to stitch, chain for chain. I'll see you at the end of number four. So just keep an eye on your stitches and your chains going across. And just finishing up number four, just drop it, don't finish that stitch and grab the new color up and pull it through to finish and then we'll begin rows number five and six next. Let's begin number five. So you got two in a row that you see here right at the beginning. Then you'll chain your two and then you'll drop on down. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six. So you got six in the middle here. And then you'll drop on down, chain two, skip over the two middle and then drop on down and then you get six in a row. Then on the return pass is just chain to chain, stitch to stitch and let's begin five and six. Let's begin number five. You're going to chain up one and do the first two is single crochet and then chain two. Okay and then you're skipping over these two and then jump on down. And now the next six in a row are each a single crochet. So we have one, two, three, four, five and six and then jump on down chain two, skip the next two here and then jump on down. Okay and now you'll do the next six in a row and then you'll jump on down like you see here and then skip two, chain two and then jump on down. So you'll be repeating that all the way across. So let's do the next six. So one, two, three, four, five and six and then eventually you'll come to the very end of this which I'm about to get there. So I'm just jumping on down and then I need to chain two, skip the next two and single crochet the final two. That was row number five. Then you're gonna turn your work and do number um, six. So just chain up one, match stitch, 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 chain for chain going all the way back and I'm gonna have you just change over the yarn to get ready for then row number seven and eight and so get your gold or whatever color you're using ready again and I'll see you back and we'll start then number seven and eight which is the final of the repeat. Okay row number six is complete. Ta-da! And let's go back to the diagram. And now we're gonna do seven and uh, eight. So you have two in the beginning and then you're gonna drop down and then you have four single crochets and then two and then four and then two. So I guess two and four is the secret to that. So this is what we're going to do and so we're making space for the next time. So just like you see here seven and eight it's very similar other than these dropping down. So just keep an eye on that. So this is the end of the repeat. So let's do seven and eight now. To begin row number seven so just chain up one and do one single crochet in the first two and then drop on down. So the chain two tells us that we have to do that. Okay 
Okay, so now you got four single crochets in a row. So starting in the next stitch. So do four. So one, two, three, and four. And then chain two and skip two. And then do the next four after that. So one, two, three, four. And if you want a visual cue, see how the chain two is right above this? So you see that it's in line. It's perfect. Okay, so now drop on down. Fill that in. And then do the next four in a row. So one, two, three, four, chain two, skip two, and then just continue that all the way across. So just continue that same motion. And making sure you put your chain twos in. And then filling in those chain two spaces with drop down mosaic double crochets. And then your last two stitches are one single crochet each. And then finally for row number eight which is the end of the repeat is that you're just gonna chain one and match stitch to stitch, chain for chain. And we're going to continue to repeat this pattern over and over and we'll talk about that in a few moments. And then uh, for everybody else that after you get those repeats done we'll talk about what we need to do in order to carry on from that point as well. So we now just finished row number eight. So now we have to go back to rows number one through eight a total of three more times on this particular pattern. So you're going to see that it builds up. What I like to do for myself and I've done this in other te uh, techniques like this is that on the last row I will put a stitch marker that's a different color and this tells me this is rows one through eight. So when I go to uh, do this again I'll put another stitch marker so then I can see that there's two then sections of row one through eight and it helps me keep account. So if I wanna put down the project for the night I can look at the stitch marker and kinda determine where I am in the pattern if you don't write that down and it gives you an indication that when you see four sections like that you know you're ready to move on in the pattern. So we're going to then take a look at this even further because eventually you're gonna have to come back to doing the striping on this particular one and you can't have holes right where they are when you get to that particular motion. So what we have to do is we have to figure out what we're gonna do from this point after you get your repeats done. So let's go back to the pattern now. So on the diagram here we got rows number one through eight. We have to do a total of four times total but after the set of instructions you read it through once it says repeat it uh, three more times. So that, that's your four sections as we talked about. After you get that last row of number eight done we have to proceed to this row. So using the colors A and the color is B. So at this point we have been using A but uh, we've been using C for the uh, alternative color. So we have to bring back B as we then begin the next one. So what we have to do is that we have to then finish off the next row once we're ready to go back to the striping to be a solid row and this is what the row one's going to do and then we are going to start then getting ready to do the striping. Once again we are going to do the half double crochet front post in order to have the balance and then we're gonna continue to the striping and then you'll repeat all over again. So let's go to the first row as we then make it solid. So after you get your repeats done this is what you need to do in order to get it back to being solid. So we're just going to then do the first row. So you're just gonna do one single crochet and you're gonna do one single crochet in each of the stitches that you have. We're just making it solid. And if there's a drop down which will occur shortly is that you're going to do your drop down mosaic double crochet. So this whole row is that we're not creating any more spaces for a drop down to occur. So you're gonna come on down and do a drop. And that basically finishes the formulation of that one at the end. So if you were to repeating this over and over you would have noticed that it's coming down anyway but we would have left spaces so that we can continue the pattern but in this case we don't want to. So just fill in each of the single crochets with the single crochet and do the mosaic uh, double crochet with the drop down as you occur over the chain two spaces. Please do this for row number one. So I'm coming up to the end of the row. I'm just gonna turn, chain one and I'll do one single crochet in each of the single crochets all the way across and then we're going to be introducing a new color at that point. So just single crochet in each stitch across. Okay upon getting back just take out that yarn now and you can also trim the other yarn as well and we're going to be switching off our colors completely. So I want you to fasten in this yarn. Just hide it in with the tapestry needle like I showed you and we're going to then proceed to the next two rows 
before we then officially start the striping. Row number three, you're just going to attach just like that and we're going to chain two. It will not count as a stitch and just half double crochet in each one of the stitches going all the way across. You've done this before. We're going to do it again right now. So please half double crochet all the way across. So I officially came all the way across with my half double crochets. I'm gonna turn my work, chain up one, one single crochet in the first one and then the next one I start doing my front post half double crochets like I had been before. You will know if you were right because it creates a ridge and the ridge then should be on the same side. So see how the ridge is facing up here? It should be facing up there. So you know that it's right. If for what exam for whatever reason it's wrong and you're not on the right side, what I would think about doing, which don't tell the designer, but I would think about doing a back post double crochet if, if you happen to be on the wrong side and then that will put the, the ridge on the side that you can see. So that's something that you can consider doing. You can always fake it or make it right. So let's go all the way across with this front post half double crochet. The last stitch is a single crochet and we're gonna talk about the striping when we get back in just a moment. Remember when we get all the way back, the first stitch here, the chain two did not count as a stitch. So the last stitch here is technically right here. Okay, so don't accidentally put an extra stitch and the last stitch is a single crochet. So this is kind of what it looks like at this time. So obviously my sample is a little bit more of a, a smaller sample. But let's go back to the pattern. Let's talk about the repeat and then we're gonna talk about the bordering after that. So in the pattern, we're right here. So you're going to do rows number one through 12. Follow the color sequence, okay, and follow the instructions for the rows. So you'll see um, the first two are giving you that indication. So it's a double crochet row, single crochet row as you know. And just follow the colors and you can carry the colors up on the side. So it's color C and B. So once you get these 12 rows done, you're gonna go back then to here. And you're still continuing to do the stripe formation. So if you really look at this blanket, do you see that this striping formation right here? It's the same that is appearing here. So that's why it's having you. So you're doing the first 12 rows and then this looks identical which is the same thing. So that's what you wanna do. So you're going to repeat all of this in order to get it to go and then you'll do your mosaics again. So once you have this particular striping all the way done to this moment right here, you're just gonna continue to repeat and repeat, repeat. So the very other side of the blanket looks like the opposite to what is here. So when you get all of that done, so if you look at the instruction here, repeat X or sorry asterisk to the asterisk, the doubles, you're going to finish off so the last rows look just like that. So that's why there, there's a difference. So it's not having you to put this back in to in order to have these big striping in between the sections. So it's a really neat idea. Eventually you're going to want to do the side edging. So you want to, you want to um, block it out if you can. So just uh, kind of dampen it, lay it flat to dry or leave a damp cloth over top or a towel. And then you can do this. Then with the right side facing, you're going to slip stitch in the corner and then work one single uh, uh, single crochet evenly across the edge and you'll repeat that for the other side. So you're not gonna touch anything on the the tops or the bottoms but you're only just gonna run it through the side. So let's just uh, quickly show you that and we'll be doing that in just a moment. So let's talk about doing then the side edging. So choose the color that you think is best and you're just gonna want to attach into a corner. So just with a slip stitch and you're going to equ equally space out single crochets. So don't stay within the gap here. Just go right into the chain and just kind of eye it out and just equally space it as it going up. So if you notice that the blanket is starting to pull and collapse, it means that you're going too fast and if it's starting to ruffle out on you, it means that you're going too slow. So the equally spacing it um, just takes a little bit of practice. I've been crocheting a long time. So when the yarns are being carried up over top, you're gonna go right and secure those underneath the stitch work. That's why you can carry them up so that they're gonna be buried. So see this is yarn is being carried. So just go up so it scoops it right up underneath that stitch. And that's why you're able to do that without having to trim your yarn. And you'll do that with any anything that you have. So all the colors are always uh, changing on the one side of the blanket. So the other side you won't have anything like that to worry about. And you're just gonna single crochet yourself and you'll do both edges 
and then this is, uh, idea is pretty much complete. Now there is fringing and so the fringing it consists of doing uh, cut A, B and C to 16 inch lengths and then you take the strand of each of the colors and then fold them in half and do your fringe. So just remember it's about 16 inches. We have videos on fringe just in case you need to review that. Also there is a picture diagram available to you on the sample itself. So continue to make sure that you cover over top of the strands that are being carried and therefore they can be nice and hidden in position like this. And so this would be then how you would do this particular one and then you can just uh, block it and then you're good to go and then this is a new concept. So this is a crochet mosaic stitch blanket by Yarnspirations.com.